when you're close to the music, it's hard to take a step back. Yeah. Do you decide maybe when you have the riffs and sort of arranged together, do you decide at that point what kind of vibe you want to give to it, or is that already also decided? I think it moment? just kind of comes with the riff. Yeah, there's no vibe. real thought other than a no general feeling of where you want the album, what you want the album to sound like. Um, which, you know, Sleep is the Enemy, we wanted it to be faster. Uh, we Sweat Blood, we wanted it to be heavier. Uh, Never Too Loud, we wanted it to be like more classic rock sounding. And for this one, we just, you know, wanted it to be heavy and fast again, you know, we just missed it. So I think that's what this album turned out to be. But we're never in the middle of writing something or working on something where we make an executive decision because it's not going the right way. We there just, are no hard songs on this one. Yeah, it's all by feel. <laughs> if it feels good, sounds good, then we keep it, you know. Do you also, yeah, you made hard, is it something that maybe it lacks a little bit in, in modern groups, maybe trying also to make rock music that they miss a certain runs in it, or is it? I don't know how other bands do it. I, I have a feeling that a lot of bands jam things out for hours and hours. We don't have the time, like in our schedule, to just sit in a room anymore and jam. We used to when we were just starting out, and we didn't have tours and things to do, but now there's just so much stuff to do that we just had to basically get it all done, you know, in a certain amount of time. It's, it's the same old story with bands. It's like you have a million years to make your first album, and then you have a, a year to make your sophomore album, and that's why the sophomore record is always, oh, most of the time it's not as good because the band had 10 years to write that first album. Uh, we're lucky in the sense that we've, like JC was saying, we've, we've kind of fine-tuned it to a, a slick machine where we, we know, and that has to do with knowing who we are, our place, we knowing what we want and how to get there and what we want it to sound like. We know all these things that takes other bands Years and years and years, they still don't know who, who or what they are or what they want to do. Yeah, we're not, we're not sitting in our room going, I don't know, that sounds a bit too... Uh... It's like, no, it's rock. It that's sounds, all it is. Yeah. That's or all it is. We're not yeah. trying to drag our audience through our electro-punk phase or whatever, or electro-dance phase or anything. We, we, we just, we're going to make the next record. The same way bands like Motorhead and Slayer and Ramones, you know, you, you don't know, you don't, haven't heard the next Slayer record, but you know what it's going to sound like. But is it, and that's good. But you're, you're open when it comes to listening to different genres. Is it maybe also that helps you to define your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You take from everything, whether it's a hip-hop song or a metal song or, or even a you know, jazz song or anything. Um, we listen to all kinds of music, personally. When you, yeah, you described when you're in a writing phase, do you also listen to records together? Uh, together. together. No, together maybe just, I'm not sure if, no, but. Uh, not like, really, <laughs> not really, we just. No, no we okay. just get together. And just get together, man. Play music for a few <laughs> hours and then I go, hey, I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Yeah, just like I'll, I think it's just too much. Ride my bike back. And <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you, if you. Watch basketball. If it's too much, everything, it just, it, it'll have a tendency to sound samey. I think the fact that we have, we give each other space, and we listen to different kinds of music, give our ears space. It shows when we, we get back together and we, we write the album or we play the music, you know.